Jack Hermanson derailed the Joe Pfeiffer hype train at UFC Fight Night 236. The Joker scored a workmanlike unanimous decision to show that there really are levels to this game and that Pfeiffer isn't quite ready for the top 15. Hermanson had to survive an early storm, but that was the key. All he had to do was keep firing back with punches and leg kicks because Pfeiffer couldn't adjust. The hot prospect quickly gassed, and Hermanson took the final round and the fight with a takedown. It was humbling. Joe Pfeiffer has an amazing story. He's coming through the Contender Series, and he has a lot of eyes on him. He should get the shot like this, Hermanson said. But then you also need to perform to take it to the next level. And I was not going to be that stepping stone. There was no fight of the night at Fight Night 236. But Dan Ige, Carlos Prates, and Bogdan Guskov were each awarded 50K bonuses for their devastating hands. Rodolfo Vieira also scored 50K of his own for his record-setting fourth arm triangle choke in the UFC. In other UFC news, Dana White has stated that April's UFC 300 megacard is yet to find its main event, despite an already stacked lineup. Who knows who's going to be the UFC 300 headliner? Every single fight could be a main event on a fight night or a pay-per-view. We're just waiting for that last one, White admitted. We've got two more fights we have to put together. We're working on it. The card already features what should be a fight to remember between the former interim lightweight champ Justin Gagey and the former featherweight champion Max Holloway for Gagey's BMF title. An old Chinese women's strawweight championship between Zhang Wei Li and her surging compatriot Yan Xiaonan. The UFC debut of the two-time Olympic champion and two-time PFL women's lightweight champion Kayla Harrison, who steps into the octagon for the first time to face the former bantamweight champion Holly Holm. And fights featuring the former lightweight champ Charles Oliveira, the former light heavyweight champ Yuri Prohatska, and the former women's strawweight champ Jessica Andrade. The card even opens with a bout between the former flyweight champ Davison Figueredo and the former bantamweight champ Cody Garbrandt. It's already an amazing lineup. The issue for the UFC president, though, is that with most of the champs having recently fought, defended, or booked to defend, the promotion might be running out of options for a big name main event. White recently ruled out the possibility of a return of the UFC's biggest star, Conor McGregor. That's despite McGregor continuing to tease an imminent return, which he's been teasing for years. And now the injured heavyweight champ John Jones says he was offered the headline spot with just nine weeks notice. The light heavyweight GOAT rejected it. So expect some actually imminent breaking news. And the YouTuber turned boxer and promoter Jake Paul is calling out former UFC champs again. The problem child took to Twitter to challenge the former middleweight king, Sean Strickland, to a sparring session with boxing gloves. If you can't imagine how Strickland responded, it went exactly like this. Real talk, jokes aside, Jake Paul is an utter joke. You box small, retired, old MMA fighters, and you sell sugar water to kids. If it were legal, I'd take your life with a smile on my face. Is there any place on this earth I can take this man's life and walk? Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.